Hello Viore Active Club, my name is Courtney Watts and today I'll be guiding you through a 20 minute full body Pilates class. Now all you need is your beautiful bodies and a mat or supportive surface and if you're ready we'll begin. Starting in a comfortable seated position, we're going to take those hands up overhead. Inhale as you exhale, drop that left arm to the mat and reach that right arm overhead. Inhale, back through center, exhale, other side. So really waking up that side body and warming up the spine. Flow through this at your own pace. Our warm up will be built into the class. So just use me as your guide. You can stay in one longer if you feel tight. We're here for another five. Deep breaths. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Back through center. Meet me in a quadruped position. Knees underneath the hips, palms underneath the shoulders. We have some cat cows. So take an inhale, drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale, round out the back. Good. Inhale. Gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, curl up and gaze to that belly button. Beautiful, if you've got another variation of this, you can move, wake up the spine however you like. You're here for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now neutralize the spine for me. Moving into a bird dog, reaching your left arm long as you reach that right leg long. Alternating sides. Keeping that nice neutralized spine as you lengthen all the way from the fingertip to the toe. Connecting that breath. Moving slow and controlled with intention. Waking up that posterior chain now, so your back, your glutes. Beautiful here for another 10. Good, last three, two, one. Back to that quadruped position, let's tuck the toes, shifting back into a downward facing dog. You can pedal out and walk the dog here if that feels good. Waking up the legs. And then when you're ready, let's press those heels into the earth. Take a calf raise, lifting the heels, dropping the heels. Then bring that right knee to meet that left elbow and then shift back to your downward facing dog. Do that again, one calf raise and then alternating sides, left knee to right elbow, shifting back, calf raise into a cross climber. When you've got that rhythm, flow through this one.
is perfectly fine. You're still working that chest. Good, last three, two, one. Coming down, dropping to our bellies. We have a cobra to a child's pose. So placing those fingertips underneath the shoulder, squeezing that back, shoulders away from the ears. Lifting up, using those back muscles, come down, press back into a child's pose, open up the knees, and then ripple through the spine, back to your cobra. Squeezing up, down, press back. Tuck the chin to chest, really ripple back down to your cobra. Good, move with intention, use that strength, squeezing up. Good, both five, four, three, two, one, back to those bellies. Taking those hands, bring them in front of you and just rest your forehead into your hands. We have back extensions, lifting up, bringing your hands with your head, lifting up from the shoulder blades and back down. Up and down. Really using that back strength to lift up, keeping those shoulders away from the ears. We tend to lift them up when we work our back and overactivate our traps. So really squeeze them back and down. Squeezing that booty too, getting that whole posterior chain. Good, last three, two, one. Hold it up here, hands down by your side, flip the palms, little pulses, up and down. Breathe into it, little tricep kickbacks. Good, for five, four, three, hands back down in two, one, hands back down. Now moving into a single leg lift. So rest your head into your hands, lifting up alternating legs. Point the toe and really lengthen here. Squeezing that booty to lift. Good, keep that core nice and strong. In a moment we have swimmers. So reaching those hands overhead as we kick the legs. In five. Four, three, two, one. Lift the legs up, lift the arms. Little swimmers. Kicks up the arms and legs here. Your core is strong. Good, kick it a little faster. 15 to go. Last 10. For five, four, three, Two, one, press back, child's pose. Take a moment, sway those hips, whatever you need, and then meet me on your backs. We have bridges. So when you're ready, plant those feet into the earth, hands down by your side, driving through the heels, squeezing up, and slowly lowering down bone by bone. Ready, we're going five. Four, three, two, one, driving up. Really tuck the tailbone. Rib to hip connection, squeezing up and down, driving through the heels, maybe lift the toes to make sure we're really hitting that booty. If you're up for the challenge, reach those hands up towards the ceiling. This makes your core work a little harder, gets into that core stability. In a moment, we stay up for calf raises, lifting our heels. In three, two, one, hold and lift. Up those heels and then back down. Lifting up, back down. You might want to walk your legs a little closer or your heels closer to your butt. That way we're gonna feel it in the right places and we're not gonna activate too much of our hamstrings. So find that sweet spot, lift and lower. Keep those hips nice and high. 
Good. For five, we hold up in that calf raise. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Abductions out and in. The knees wave out and in. Really squeeze. Imagine you have a ball in between your knees here and squeezing it together. Good. Breathe into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower back down. Option to keep those hands. Actually, no, we are lifting them up. So if you had your hands down, everyone lift those hands up. Keep those heels lifted. We have one bridge, one abduction, but as you do your abduction, wave those arms out and in and the chest fly back down. Ready? Let's go. Lift, open, close, back down. Lift, open, squeeze, lower down. Beautiful, you should feel the burn here. Hold and pulse in three, two, one. Little pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Everything lowers down. All right, so you are staying with that bridge, but this time plant that left leg. Bridge hold on the left as we tap, toe tap the right leg down and up. Ready? Tap and up. So in that tabletop with that right leg. The goal is to, here is to keep those hips nice and steady. So maybe hold onto those hips. Make sure nothing moves. Just that leg wave down and up. And if you're feeling really strong, you have that option to have those hands up. Make that core work a little harder. We've got pulses coming up in three, two, one, down and up little pulses. Driving through that left heel for five, four, three, two, one. Place those hands down behind your head. So I'm having the head into the hands. We have a single leg bicycle and extension here, let's go. Cross and out. Really hook that left elbow outside the right knee. Getting into that core and waistline now. Moving into a toe touch on the same side in three, two, one, lengthen the leg, lengthen the arm, fold in and out. Really crunch up to meet that toe and lengthen out. So we just have a bit of an ab burn to finish here. Little pulses in three. Two, one, hold it here and reach. Reach for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Lift up a little higher and recover. Lengthen those legs out. Keep the head in the hands. Crunches. Lifting up, lowering down. As you exhale, I want you to think about drawing that belly button into your spine. Relaxing your neck. Gaze towards the ceiling for five, four, three, two, one. Recover. All right, we're doing exactly the same thing on the other side, starting with that bridge hold toe tap. So now driving through that right heel, lifting up, tabletop the left leg now, toe taps in three, two, one, down and up. Steady through that core. If you took the challenge on the other side, you can bring those hands up to the ceiling. 
Pulses coming up. Driving into that left or right heel. Up and down, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, coming down, hammock the head into the hands. Single leg bicycle, hooking the elbow outside the knee. Extend. Really lifting up, twisting over. We switch this into a toe touch in five, four, three, two, one. Lifting up, toe meets the hand, lengthen out. Right hand to left toe. Can you lift up a little higher? You're in your last 10. Then little reaches up and down, pulse. In four, three, two, one, little pulses. Breathe, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax down. We're moving into scissor kicks. So hugging that left leg into your nose, lengthen out the left and switch. Switch. Speed it up in three, two, one. Let's go. Tempo. Really lift up out of the shoulder blades, relax the neck. A little bit over here, we're almost at the end. Good, hundreds to finish. In five, four, three, two, one. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders up. Lower the legs as far as you can, hundreds. Little pulses down and up. If it's too much with the straight legs, you can always bend into tabletop. Just really lift up out of the shoulder blades. Pulse it down, belly button to spine. You've got it, can you lower those legs an inch lower? Good. Breathe into it. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees into your chest. Rock and sway, take a moment. Now I'll give you a quick stretch. So a quick stretch, then you can get on with your day. Let's hug your right knee in towards your chest. Really hug it in, open up the hip, and then move it into a supine twist. Gaze over your right shoulder. Beautiful, other side, hug your left knee into your chest. Give it a nice hug, open up and then supine twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. Beautiful, back through center. Hug both knees into your chest and bring your head off the mat and really hug into a tight ball. And then rock and roll yourself a few times all the way up to a seated position. Finish how we started. Now I encourage you to keep stretching. Otherwise, let's just take a couple of breaths all together to seal in our hard work. Take an inhale, reach those hands up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center, one more. All that good energy, reach it up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you so much, Active Club, for tuning in. I hope you loved today's workout. Drop a comment, let me know how you did. And I hope to see you for the next workout on here together. And there's plenty of other amazing trainers and workouts to do, so keep showing up. And I hope you have the most beautiful day. Thank you.